now, the 2023 Met Gala is gonna be a mess. Now, dress-wise, the worst Met Gala we've ever had has been 2019 and 2021. Those were collectively terrible. But this year is going to be terrible for several different reasons that don't include how celebrities are going to dress. So, the theme of the night is going to be a dedication to Karl Lagerfeld, who was the creative director for Chanel. And because it's a dedication to Karl and he worked at Chanel, we are either going to see a lot of celebrities dressed exclusively in Chanel or outfits inspired by the Chanel aesthetic. Which means there is little room for creativity. And what makes this especially bad is that Chanel has a reputation for not really being all that interesting. For example, Kristen Stewart was stuck in a Chanel contract for years and people were desperate for her to be let go. So not only will everyone kind of be dressed the same, but because Chanel isn't all that interesting, there won't be much to be shocked at. I'm shocked. This is shocking news. Shocking. I'm shocked. Another reason why this year is going to be terrible is because I can already see from a thousand miles away that celebrities are going to take this opportunity to try and be relatable and funny. Now, if you don't understand what I mean, Karl Lagerfeld once said this quote about sweatpants. Sweatpants are a sign of defeat. You lost control of your life, so you bought some sweatpants. I can guarantee you there are going to be at least five people who will show up in sweatpants. Ah, oh, guys, I'm the only one doing this. <laughs> no, you're not the only one doing that. Maybe the first time we see this happen, it'll be like, oh, someone wore sweatpants to a Met Gala event. That's crazy. But the fifth person that rocks up, because it will happen, it's just going to be a yawn fest. Another worry that's spreading around is the fact that people are going to try and honor Carl's cat in some way. And you can say that I'm reaching, but I'm literally not. Because Kim Kardashian put this up on her Instagram. Oh my god, I met up with Carl Lagerfeld's cat. <laughs> you know she's gonna try and take some inspiration from a damn cat. Another reason that this is gonna be the worst Met Gala is because men are gonna do what they always do, and that's boring but this year in particular is gonna be special because what's gonna happen is guys are going to take inspiration from the way that Carl used to dress but think they're the only ones of the night doing it all they're gonna do is wear the same suits that they always do but maybe wear some fingerless gloves on top of it just for that Carl edge we should expect to see a wave of Carl Lagerfeld copycats ladies and gentlemen that's what the men are gonna look like oh <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it because it makes it real. I crumpled to my knees when I heard this news and I'm on my knees again. I can't say it. Blake Lively isn't going. I know, I know, I know, I know, trust me, I know. Let's ourselves okay just let's just take a breather okay let's compose ourselves this is still devastating news it feels like I just lost a family member it, it really does because you know if nobody else was gonna look good on the night Blake Lively wasn't going to disappoint she consistently served the best looks of the night and now I can't, I can't even look forward to, I can't, oh my god, oh my god. It was already looking bad, okay? But when you lose Blake Lively, cancel it. There's no point in doing the Met Gala if Blake Lively isn't going. Now, this isn't messy, but it's something that I want to include anyways. And that's the fact that Taylor Swift might be in attendance. Maybe. Possibly. Oh, but Hayley, do you have any proof? Barely, but it's enough. <laughs> the only proof that I have is that there's a significant gap in her tour schedule. Conveniently around the time that the Met Gala is taking place. Now that is a reaching to the stars. That's reaching to Pluto and Pluto isn't even considered a planet anymore. And I'm reaching that far. But it's enough. But now back to the mess. The Mess Gala. Oh my god. <laughs> This year, it's not the Met Gala, it's the Mess 
Dala. Oh, damn! I'm an innovator, baby! Trademark that. Someone's gonna steal that from me. I can guarantee you. I'm gonna look it up. Has anyone else ever used the term mascara? Please, I want to feel like a genius. Let me feel like a genius. Mascara. Oh my god, it has been used before. <laughs> oh my god. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. Another reason this year is a mess is because there are high fashion outlets that don't even want to cover the event. This Twitter account covers the Met Gala every single year, but they're literally skipping this year. Why don't they want to cover the event? Well, Carl has a problematic past, to put it lightly, okay? As we approach the first Monday of May, the high fashion Twitter Met Gala team would like to announce that we will not be celebrating this year's Met Gala as our values don't align with the selection of Carl Lagerfeld as the theme. We hope to celebrate with our community again soon. But they weren't the only ones who felt that way because the actor Jamila Jamil uploaded this scathing post to her Instagram about what she thought about Carl being the theme of the night. Also, what we found recently is that Zendaya might be a rumored guest at this year's gala. Because when Florence mentioned Zendaya in an Instagram comment saying, when am I seeing you? I miss you. Zendaya responded by saying, hopefully very, very soon. And Florence is a confirmed guest at the Met Gala. So let's put two and two together. One plus one equals two. There are also multiple rumors saying that this year's Met Gala is rumored to be a boring event after multiple celebrities passed on the invitation. And one of the reasons why people think celebrities are passing up the invitation this year is because Anna Wintour, who is literally in charge of the Met Gala, has raised the price of the tickets. Now, word around town is that the only reason Anna did this is because she wants to make the guest list more exclusive so that only A-listers will be in attendance. And just as Blake isn't attending the Met Gala, Hailey Bieber won't be attending either. And let me just say, thank God. But the only reason I bring up Hailey in the first place is because she's just another celebrity who is cancelled on the Met Gala. And forget about the outfits for a moment. Is this even going to be an event worth covering? Because another reason people love the Met Gala is not just because of the outfits, but because you put all of these famous people into one room, there is bound to be drama. But when there's no celebrities, there's no drama. So when you really look at it, when you have a bunch of people who are going to look boring and a bunch of A-listers who aren't going, which means there's going to be no drama, what's there really to be excited for? There is no drama to make up for the lack of creativity. And there is no creativity to make up for the lack of drama. Do you see the point I'm trying to make here? Look, I might be wrong and you guys are going to come back to this video after the 1st of May and you're going to point and you're going to laugh. But these are just my predictions and I'm okay if I'm wrong. I'm happy if I'm wrong because that means it was a good event and the celebrities actually tried and there was actually drama. Either way, I'm good because if it's boring, then I was right. But if it wasn't boring, that means there's something to cover. So it's a win-win for me. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!